Foreigner came out almost two years ago already, so it's been hell of a ride in the past two years. It has been too incredible, yeah. We've added 10 new characters since launch, two new game modes. We've changed the onboarding and the network structure. So if somebody jumping into the game now, he is literally playing a different game. For year three, with the year of the Arbinger, we are doing things a little bit differently, and you can expect it to be a little bit more dark. The year of the Arbinger will come with four new seasons. At the beginning of each season, we will release a brand new hero. There's gonna be major events, new maps, new gear, ton of balancing, and so on. There are rumors of a new cataclysm coming to the land of Thorn. In the midst that chaos, new warriors mage, Paria, characters with a much heavier background, seize the opportunity to rejoin their faction. Every season, there's going to be a major event. And I think people will enjoy what we have planned for this year because we will remain mostly in the world of For Honor. We are going to inspire ourselves from the faction war. So we will take specific moments of the metagame and tell the bigger story behind that and have the player fight and celebrate this moment. Balancing will continue to be the top priority for the game. We want to improve the offense, the reaction time, the revenge system, continue to fix targeting and character balancing, starting with the Shugoki, Lawbringer, and continuing with Warlord, Peacekeeper, and so on. The mindset of the team is to keep supporting that game, keep pushing its boundaries, keep offering new content, and being as engaged as we can to make For Honor a long-term success. <laughs>